Good Thursday evening, everybody. We're almost there to Friday. Welcome to Scene. I'm Jamarcus Gaston. And I'm Megan Heidelberg. We're going to take a look at what's brewing tonight. Thanks to our good friends, Spinks, helping us to make our life a little bit easier. We were out of the ballpark last night. Saw their big old logo the out there by the green monster. big old logo on the green monster. Yeah. So we are re really excited for oh, you, when did you opening When day. did you get drafted? You know, I, <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't know. I got drafted on the bench, oh, right? Well. Oh, they okay. won't be the South Atlantic League champions anymore if I'm playing. But of Dude, course, we got to wear that bling lot yesterday. Oh my gosh, it has what 48, um, 48? No, 84. 84. 84 for how for how wrong. for how many games they how won? How many games? It's awesome. But there's some new things happening yes. at the Greenville Drive. Of course, they want you to be safe, so mm -hmm. they're doing the clear bag policy. The clear bag policy, ladies, mamas. I know this may <laughs> affect y'all the most. You've got diaper bags. Those are not going to be allowed. All right, leave them in the car. You can either have a little clutch or one of those plastic bags like you saw. And they said as long as it's a clear, clear bag, you can yeah. bring it. And they also have that app called the Bypass Lane available to everyone in the ballpark. Now all you have to do is download that. You can actually get food delivered right to your chair by using this app. So don't stand in those long lines anymore. Just use the Bypass a fast lane app there. In a, can you do that with like beard stuff? Could you imagine that could be like, I'm going to need another one. That could be dangerous. That's um, like Uber for alcohol, one. right? <laughs> <laughs> and they also have a Furman on deck picnic pavilion that where they'll be you. doing, they did it all for me, mm -hmm. you know, go Dens always. But you can um, have little small shareable bites with your your family and friends over in the on the Furman Pavilion. Yes, so. and where you'll find me and my family and JG going down some slides, the know, playground. It's a new, it's a new and improved Playground, there's a few new features. So opening day, obviously it's been going on for about 30-ish mm, minutes right. now. So it's a beautiful night for it. If you miss tonight, I mean, they're going to be playing, you know, all season. And their new so. slogan is our home, our, our team. team. So go I drive. I love it. Hashtag, okay, speaking of, did you happen to see this game last I, night? I did not. You know, I'm not a huge, like, professional baseball. Right. I like the drive, but like these, but this sounds like something Woo. that you want to see on TV. Wait for it. <laughs> Bay, you get hit. Okay, getting hit with the ball, it hurts. I get oh, it. Snap. All right, it's but here on. it comes. I mean, this is the Yankees and the Red Sox too. I mean, you can't get more competitive. Now, if baseball had more of this, I'd be watching <laughs> it more. It's more like it's more like hockey. But right. it's like these are these players are making millions and millions of dollars. They're clearing benches. Like my luck, I would get hurt on a bench <laughs> brawl and would lose exactly. out. Exactly. From throwing balls to throwing bows. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, that's my type of baseball. Oh, they got they got down. Yeah, a lot of people were ejected. It was crazy. Yankees did end up go on that's awesome. winning. Yeah. Okay, since we're talking about this, let's talk about a school district in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. You were talking about this yesterday yes. about them arming their teachers with mini bats. They were like, I was looking at the video and I'm like, are these bats like really look? Jamarcus, I mean, these are these are. What is the point? Like, what are they going to do with that? That's supposed to. It was more of kind of a symbolic gesture. To arm yourselves in case if there's like an for, active shooter. For, for teachers that are encouraged, the day and age that we live in, y'all, this is so scary. That we're having to encourage teachers to fight back. That teachers even have to think about as if they don't have enough to think about when I know. it comes to teaching your kids. Now they have to think, how am I going to keep my kids safe? From giving them guns to giving them tiny little bats. Oh. I mean, it's just it's insane that you have to even think about that, yes. but. Obviously, you know, with these shootings that keep happening, I mean, it makes you so sad because like, you remember, like, okay, Ed, I remember going to school, there may be an occasional fight, but yeah. we had this ex NFL player, huge, he taught history. <laughs> I love him. If there was a fight, Mr. Preche was going to get to that in about <laughs> three seconds. So you better throw your blow real quick because by the time Mr. Preche got to you. Which is why a lot of people happening. are not advocating for them, for teachers to have guns because if I got Mr. Wilmore back in Great Falls, you gave that man a gun? I mean, I don't know if I'd be alive. I was gonna say, I, I wouldn't know. be alive. My French teacher would have done, she would have done me in <laughs> on the beginning. So, done I mean, and done. That's obviously a, um, a lighthearted take on, on a very serious, very serious topic. But I mean, it's, it's one of the things that people are talking about. And it's one of those like you sit there and I, and I think about, you know, Will's teachers and my, and my you know, son that's in elementary school. And I'm like, I can't even imagine. I mean, and they do, they have these drills, mm -hmm. you know, and just Active in case. shooter drills. In case someone, I'm like, can you imagine? We used to have like the tornado drills. And you're like, okay, this will get us out of class for like 15 exactly. minutes when you just but cover now your you them to, to take that very seriously because it could be it could be problematic mm -hmm. and it could be uh, it could be deadly. So yes. it's a sad sad topic. We're going to change gears here to talk about Facebook and of course the invasion of privacy. Mark Zuckerberg or Zuckerman. Zuckerman. Zuckerman is one of the one of the, the senators. Like, call hey them. you man in the blue tie. They I mean, go, he, Mr. Zuckerman. He looks dead inside, doesn't he? I mean, you feel bad for him. Like, but at the same time, it's uh -huh. very serious what you know Facebook is uh, you know accused of doing and releasing all this information. And of course, people are talking about. The fact that uh, some of these uh, senators or some of these senators and, how, and representatives don't know what Facebook a, is. A little, a little out of touch. A little out of touch. A little outdated. I mean, some of the questions. I mean, one of them was you, you, was asking about. Ads. 
about or ads. About, or they were asking about how to like limit drug sales. I mean, it's just all kind of stuff. Like, how is this, uh, <laughs> Mr. Zuckerberg, how is this going to be an uh, actual a business, business model that continues to go on? And he's like, well, we run ads, it, sir. That kind of helped. I thought he was, there were so many times that he could have been like, are you kidding me? Have you ever used Facebook? Well, Welcome on, to man. 2018, yes, Senator. Yes. But, hey. Again, we have the same you, you know, feelings. We don't like it. You don't want people invading your privacy. Delete it. Don't use it. Don't tell everybody where you're yeah, going. Yeah, people think, I mean, what, what is going to be next? People are going to say, did you know that Uber used your private information to find out where you were? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's it's an Uber app. It's an Uber. But you know what I do when I use Uber? <laughs> I always send them like two or three houses down. Ooh, and then you walk? And then I just walk. You know what I mean? So instead of saying, you know, if my address was 12, whatever, I'll say that it's 15. 15 and whatever. Then, so now, the my, now I just get the, now, so the people, now I'm busted. But. So the people down the street are having their privacy invaded yes. because of Megan. Because of it, yes, <laughs> yes. I, don't, I wait kind of more like in the street, you know gotcha. what I mean? And then just say, this will give you a like, this is fine, you can drop me off here, this is good. <laughs> this so. is good, this is drop me off by this random building. Yeah, so it's, it's <laughs> all That's how Megan funny. rolls. Yes. Now, so there's a really cool new park that's opening in Spartanburg. They're very excited about that. Spartanburg Downtown the Airport. And it has the grand opening coming up, the celebration this Saturday. It starts at 10 a.m. The park has a splash pad with sprinklers for the kids. Yes. Oh, that's going to be perfect track. in oh, the summer. Oh, that looks summer. awesome. And look at the planes. That's really cool. Mario, like, that's going to be perfect in the summer. Can summertime. we please go and try this out? Uh, yeah. That looks awesome. And of course, they have a couple of pavilions that you can rent out and uh, for special events and different things like that. Again, uh, opening at the Spartanburg Downtown Airport this Saturday at 10 o'clock. And uh, Parks and Rec Spartanburg Director Kim Moultrie told us this grand opening is actually a big anniversary for the airport, which is the oldest in the state. Celebrating the 90th anniversary of the first commercial flight uh, from the Spartanburg Downtown Airport. So that's coinciding with the opening on Saturday. Um, a lot of people tell me that as a child they came out to the airport um, and this is a place they enjoyed. So we figured that a park here would give them kind of double pleasure. Now again, that park is at 500 Ammons Road, which is on the west side of Spartanburg. West side doing it up big. I love that. So I definitely need to check that out. You need to take the, the boys and, and little Sophie over there. She can't enjoy it quite yet. Yeah, I'll think. stand under her that, that water <laughs> just kind of go around and hit her, especially in she's those like, August She July has days. the bathing suit ready. She's already she, she's ready for it. A, a little bikini. <laughs> a little bikini. So fun. So fun.